express no confidence motion against this government. I have to say that I have nothing personal against Mr. Modi. But as Brutus said in Julius Caesar, not that I love Modi less, but that I love India more. If anybody loves India, they will oppose Modi. Because his government has been a government of failed promises and disastrous policy decisions. Still, sir, I do not want to make it personal. I do not want to raise the question of Modiji's educational qualification over which there is a cloud. Nor do I uh, want to speak on Gujarat riots or the BBC documentary on Modiji or Gujarat riots. Sir, before going to my main point on Manipur, I want to mention that this government is destroying federalism in the country. Yes. Its purpose is to weaken all state governments. West Bengal is a victim because Amit Shah went to Bengal and say, Agle bar doso par. BJP could not even get 80 seats. So they have stopped all money for Narega, which amounts to 7,300 crores, and for PM Abbas Jojna, which amounts to 8,400 crores. Our party has given a call. If the money is not released soon, then on 2nd October, we shall bring lakhs of people to Delhi to demand our share, our dues, in respect of Marek. Sir, I do not want to reply to Mr. Nishikant Dube. He is a man desperate to get into the ministry somehow or other. So, he has to flatter the government. And he quoted all wrong history, which I don't want to go into. But I want to remind him that he belongs to an organization which did not participate in the August 42 movement. Yes. He belongs to an organization yes. which was banned after Gandhiji's murder. Yes. I do not want to have any track with such organization and people representing it. Sir, before going further, I want to mention there are some ministers, sprinkling of ministers here, that ministers were control themselves. Earlier, Anurag Thakur went to a meeting in Delhi and said, Goli Maro dash dash. Yeah. And now Minakshi Lekhi, minister from Delhi, is saying that don't speak against us, we shall send ED to your home. Yeah. I want to say that I come from the land of Tagore, who said, don't fear. Ami bhai korbona bhai korbona. Duvela morarage morbona bhai morbona. I shall not fear. And I shall not die twice before dying actually. <laughs> Sir, this government is a government of the heartless. They are sending delegations to West Bengal on any plea. But not one delegation has gone to Manipur, where our brothers and sisters are dying. Sir, I will remind you that, uh, remind you of what Mark Anthony said in Julius Caesar, you blocks, I will paraphrase it and say, you blocks, you stones, what you worse than senseless things. Oh, you hard hearts, cruel men of BJP. You have no compassion. That's why you have not gone to Manipur as all the opposition parties have gone. Sir, let me say a few words about Manipur. My young friend, Mr. Gaurav Gogoi, has very ably summed up the situation in Manipur. Manipur athlete ethnic clashes between Maitis and Cookies started on 3rd May 2023 
and are still continuing. On 5th August, five people, three Maitis and two cookies were killed in Manipur in escalation of hostilities. So far, over 150 people have been killed. At least 100 women were raped and over 70,000 people have been displaced and 350 relief camps have been set up. The delegation from India which went met people in relief camps in Imphal and Churachatpur. Nishikat did not mention a single word about Manipur. This government wants to forget. Sir, the actual count may be higher. And now, these incidents in Manipur remind one of the riots in Rwanda between Hutus and Tutsis some years ago. The worst incident in Manipur came to light on 19th July when a video went viral showing two cookie men being stripped, paraded naked on the streets and sexually assaulted by apparently mighty men. Sir, are we living in a civilized country that this happens to our sisters? This is unimaginable. No action was taken by the police for more than two months until the video emerged. This was due to internet shutdown in Manipur, which as Gaurav mentioned, is still continuing. The Prime Minister opened his mouth after 80 days since the start of violence, saying that his heart is full of pain and anger. But he has not visited Manipur till date. Now the Supreme Court has belatedly set up a three-judge committee consisting of women judges. This is good because when the government fails, the highest court of the land has to take up the matter. Sir, till today mobs of Métis are attacking cookie villages who are retaliating with SLRs, AK-47, etc. Much of the arms are coming from abroad across a porous border and is funded by mainly poppy money, opium money. Police armories are looted. আমাদের ভিডিও ভালো লাগলে লাইক এবং শেয়ার করুন কমেন্ট সেকশনে গিয়ে জানান আপনাদের মতামত আর ভিডিও পেতে আমাদের চ্যানেল সাবস্ক্রাইব করুন এবং প্রতি মুহূর্তে খবরের আপডেট পেতে প্রেস করুন বেল আইকন